Which instruments do you all play? I am the singer. I'm, I'm the I'm the drummer. And I play bass and guitar. No, no, I play the uh, mostly Telecasters. Mostly Fender. I also play guitar. And I love it when you play guitar, Nicholas, and so do these people. So if you please let one rip. The Hives have found a way to make music that was originally intended for 50 drunk people in a barn in, uh, in South of America. We have now adapted it with our own formula that we can play it to 80,000 people. That's the most we've ever played for us. I don't know how we do it, but I just know that we can. So 15,000 people, <laughs> no problem. That's a cozy atmosphere. Yeah, that's like a living room dance. Some of our best shows we've done for nine people. You know, I remember that one. That was the first time we ever played a show for more than 20 songs. And it was nine people in the crowd. And that was a blast. We meet all kinds of people and, and frankly that's one of the main perks of doing this job. And everybody you meet is always really excited because, because every, when you're on tour every night is kind of Saturday night and everybody's really excited that you, you're coming to town. So. And everybody really likes you when you're on tour, so you only get to meet the nice people in every, in every city. So it's a very good way to travel. I want to play Russia, the moon, the moon, and we want to play a lot more in South America. Yeah, I think South America is our big Achilles heel. Yeah, there's a bunch of places we never played. So there's still work to be done, but it's also, there's always a balance between, you know, we could go to America where everybody loves us, we could go to the UK where we're a huge band and popular, or we could go to, and, and it feels kind of mean to the people in those places or in Europe to just pop off to South America. On the other hand, these South Americans have never gotten the chance to see us. So my question to you, Ives members, is then, is it easier to explain to people who have never seen us why they will never see us, or is it easier to explain to people? Because there's only so many days in a year to explain to people that want to see us and have gotten to see us a lot that you're not getting it. Well, now we, we've uh, played uh, some of the new songs this summer, and the reactions to them has been overwhelming to us. People uh, adapt the songs into their top 10 list of songs ever made straight away. It's, it's amazing. It's been fascinating to see. Yeah. We've been working for it so, for so long that we forgot how good these songs are. Yeah. And it's kind of funny, like at the first chorus you see people go like this, and at the second chorus they're singing along, and at the third chorus they're losing their minds, jumping up and down. That spells success in the book of law. thing about making this record so in such a convoluted way and taking the time to you know record it with different people and so on makes it so I mean we have a lot of stuff going on and it feels like we could go in the studio tomorrow and make a great record and we'd be really excited to do so but I mean obviously we have to release this one first Everyone's a loser in the 